How about some Saturday Night Lights? The Carson Colts stampede into Santa Ana Stadium to face the number four ranked modern day Monarchs. Carson gets off early. Quarterback Justin Allo goes deep to find Darius Rogers. The Colts are in Monarch territory and Miles Johnson punches one in from 11 yards out. Modern day's first play of scrimmage. Why not? Max Wittick goes deep to find his future Trojan teammate Victor Blackwell, but to no avail. And unfortunately for modern day, this would turn out to be a recurring theme. Tracy Harris in on the sack, and later Justin Smith. Things get worse for the Monarchs. Wittick tries to find Blackwell, but the number one rated player in the county separates his shoulder and would not return. But things turn around as Glenn Raphael, the name of my favorite Ninja Turtle, by the way, picks off Allo and takes it 76 yards to the house. The modern day euphoria lasted for about one play. Deion Willis returns this kickoff for a touchdown, and it's 14-7 Carson going into the half. After a modern day field goal in the fourth, the Monarchs are rolling towards another score, but Josh Valdivia fumbles, and Carson pulls off the stunning upset over modern day, 14-10. I still think we'll be a good football team, and maybe this is what we needed, so, you know. But you play preseason games, bottom line. It was a, a, a monumental task for, that we had in front of us. We had a big we go. Yeah, I think it was definitely an upset because we were the underdogs coming in the game. It gave us a lot of confidence going into our further games and we just got to play harder and keep working. An upset special here in Santa Ana tonight, and to show you how much of an upset this was, every single one of our OC Varsity staff picked Modern Day to win this game. But that's why they play the games, right? Carson defeating Modern Day, that's the second year in a row now. Their defense was outstanding. Modern Day couldn't even score a touchdown. Reporting from Santa Ana, I'm Jonathan Kamis for OCVarsity.com. Hey,